Hi, this is uh, Tim Boo here. So, this is my pee buffer tank. Had them about, well, not quite a month yet. Uh, don't really see many YouTube videos on pee buffers, so I just thought I'd do one. And if anyone finds anything helpful or got any questions, feel free to comment below. So, yeah, I've had these guys about a month now. Do weekly water changes just to keep on top of the parameters. Feeding wise, I've been feeding live blood worms, frozen blood worms, and I've just tried brine shrimp, baby brine shrimp live, and yesterday, and they loved that. That was really good. Uh, tank parameters, so I'm around 26 degrees centigrade, 78 Fahrenheit. Uh, Obviously, good filter, got a fluval filter. Uh, a bit about the hardscape, so Dragonstone, tried to create some little caves as you can see, some little hiding spots for them because they are semi aggressive fish. Uh, I did a little rescape today, so I put some more plants in. So, obviously, you got the two Amazon swords. I put that other little bit of cardinal in today. That was been in there a while, that one. And a bit of Anubius at the back there. Um, and the Java fan's been in there a while, just to keep it, try and put some more plants in, a bit more hiding area for them. But they're all very happy at the moment, seem to be getting on really, really well. Uh, I've had a bit of an algae bloom issue, but I think I've got that under control now. Uh, as you can probably see, I did put some of my fire red cherry shrimps in just to try and combat a bit of that. That helped a lot with the hair algae that I was getting on the Amazon sword. You can still see a little bit of it there, but that is very minimal compared to what it was. Uh, algae, obviously, it happens. So I did have a bit of an algae bloom on the back and the front, but I think that's doing my light. It's a 16 watt light and the tank's only 105 litres. So really, I need to try and source a new light. I'm on a lookout for one. But I just did a day and a half of blackout, gave it a good clean, and so far, so good. It hasn't come back, although I have got the old magnet cleaner now, just to try and keep on top of it. Obviously, the cherry shrimps generally are getting on quite well with the puffers. They don't really seem to... The puffers don't go for them, I think they're a bit too big for them to be honest, and they're getting on well, so I took them out of my community tank which I've got. I started off with six fire red cherry shrimps, and I've got about, well, I dread to think how many I've got now to be honest, but I'll probably talk about those in another video. So yeah, that's my, uh, my pea puffer tank. Seems to be getting on really well, I've got six of them in there, two males, four females I think think can't really tell until they're a bit older to be honest but all in all they get on very well no real scrapping only during feeding time taking food out of each other's mouths but what I'll do is I'll do a feeding video straight after this some brine shrimp so other than that all good if you've got any questions about pea puffers or any advice you can give me on my setup or anything please comment below this is Timbu signing out.